family hey brethren in christ we made it to day three of our gratitude series and in this video we are going to be thanking god for the gift of our families oh my god i just want to put this out there that the mere fact that you don't get to choose your family is proof that god has a plan okay i know that some of you just go like what kind of family cries this i wish i was believing it's okay but i just want you to take a moment to thank god for your family just as you're watching this video just mention their names one by one so you thank god sorry just mention their names one by one you thank god for your father for your mother for your brothers your sisters your cousins your aunties your uncles your grandma your great grandma for every single one of them thank god for their lives and even if they are not alive thank god for the life that they lived maybe you never got to meet them still thank god that they brought you to this world right even before they left just thank god for that thank him that you 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 came from a family that you even know who they are and even if you are watching me and you feel like you don't know your family maybe you were adopted still thank god because your your adopted family is still your family right so just lift up your voice and bless god for their lives lift up your voice just thank god that they exist that you have a name because a family gives an identity you have a name to your name do you understand Thank God they may not be the popular family or the kind of family that you, you you want. Maybe you see yourself and you're comparing. Maybe you're comparing with other families. But still thank God for what you have. Thank God for what you have. You may tell me, I'm sure you're watching this video and you're just like, God, I come from a broken home. Thank God. Thank God that it is, it is how it is. Bible says that in everything, give thanks to God because it's the will of God in Christ Jesus. So just thank God for the family that you came from. Thank God. Just lift up your voice and thank God. And now you want to ask yourself these questions. Fine, there's a popular saying that says that you came from a broken family, but don't let a broken family come from you. If you have never done this exercise, for me, I do that a lot. Sometimes just sit down and ask yourself, what kind of family do I want to bring forth, right? What kind of family do I want to bring forth? What kind of family do I want to come out of me? You can look at your family right now. And that's what I'm saying that we are doing the now. So look at your family right now. Pinpoint the negatives and say that you don't want them. But it's not just about saying you don't want them. Because you will have to pray. Because... I think you want to go about generational patterns because this is a gratitude series but you have to pray against certain patterns that you have realized in your family and tell them tell you are telling god that this pattern ends with me with it ends in that generation my fa it cannot continue right you should be able to stop certain patterns that are going on in your family it cannot continue it ends here as i've seen it you do get so you start from there so basic point is what kind of family do I want to come out from me? These negative patterns, you don't want to see them. You write the positive, the, the positives as well. And you ask yourself, how do you want to continue with these things to raise your family as well, right? Also, you sit down and ask yourself questions like, how do I be a better daughter? How do I be a better father? How do I be a better mother? How do I be a better son, a better cousin, a better niece, a better nephew? How do I serve them better? What am I doing that I could do better in my family, right? Sometimes we feel like maybe we, we, we don't play major roles, but we do. You are in a family for a reason, right? How do I begin to pray? Maybe you are in a family where not all of you are saved. You are the only one that's like really spiritual. How do you begin to pray for your siblings that they also come to see the light that you are seeing? That alone is responsibility in itself. Because you, you, you just want to pray that they also see the light you are seeing. So that's a, a very good action step that you would take, right? So I want you to look in the now, right now. What are the things that you can sow? What are the things that you can pray about in your family? What are the generational curses and the generational patterns that you can break? You see that this thing has to end with me. It shouldn't continue. So don't be about that life that goes like, it's in my family, it's in my family. As for my family, we have, we have, we have, what's the name of that thing? We have asthma, my family, my father had it, my great-grandfather, my sister. 
So, so what? You want, you want to so have it? Ah, uh, Masa, <laughs> remove it from there. What, what is that? Don't, don't accept things like that because fine, patterns are not that easy to break, but they can be broken. Do you get it? So, ask yourself, how can I do with it now? Then now. So go about this day thanking God for your family. Thank you so much for tuning into the series. And thank you for day three. And I'm really glad that you were here. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.